It's so interesting. I used to experience like a general overall discontentment for life on a daily basis. And the more that I reflect on where I used to be emotionally, the more I realize how much has changed for me, how much has shifted my, my perspectives, my, um, my, my overall state. And I recognize that, you know, I, I just used to be just channeling the same emotions over and over and over again, waking up in states of fear and anxiety and depression and everything. And it's just so, e it, it, it's, it's so interesting because like now, whenever I'm feeling like discontent or like looking at like the world or the universe in like a hostile way, like I return to being present with myself and I'm like, there's nothing happening right now in the present moment. This is just familiarity, right? And having that insight is both important and interesting because we do recycle emotions from yesterday. If we don't resolve things, if we're not aware of it, we, we completely we completely do. You know, emotions, um, I know that I've said this before, uh, what you're used to will use you, and it's true, and I've experienced this so many times throughout my entire life, I recognize that it's like, okay, I felt this way yesterday, I felt this way a week ago, I felt this way a month ago, I felt this way months ago, I felt this way a year ago, I felt this way years ago, right? And it's like, wow, why is it still here? And maybe it's still there because something about it is not resolved, and you need to allow yourself to feel the feelings necessary. The thing that's so interesting to me is how often the feeling of like discontentment or like thinking that you know the universe is hostile or that you just you you can't feel okay for some reason uh how often that's there but also the reason that it's there is because you're just used to it there there's there's no you know okay like anxiety right there's no saber-toothed tiger chasing you right um so that in and of itself is like, okay, well, the anxiety is probably there because your body is just used to that, um, you know, that chemical reaction, that, that neurochemical reaction. And it's, it's so interesting. The, the, the challenge of trying to, like, get yourself to be present is very difficult oftentimes, right? Um, and here's the other thing, too. These emotions, right, the, like anxiety and depression and everything, uh, sadness, um, deep pain, the pursuit of trying to get rid of it is actually what's making it more prominent in someone's life. And, you know, um, those uh, specifically that have a really difficult time with um, difficult, uncomfortable emotions... They have a tendency, from what I've come to learn and, and uh, experienced, they have a tendency to try to push the emotions out, right? Th these, are, these are defense mechanisms that they learned early on in childhood. Um, when, you, when you don't learn to regulate your emotions, you just push them out. But then, they get worse. E emotions will never be understood or get better or be resolved if all you're doing is pushing them out. It doesn't work that way. You have to allow the emotions to be there. Um, you, ha you have to learn to regulate, because if you don't regulate, you're going to have a very hard time with your emotions. That's just the reality of it. Um, but what I'm realizing for myself right now on this journey of healing is that like, there's literally nothing wrong. right? There, there's, there's nothing wrong in the moment, but for some reason, I'm feeling something that's like, well, why am I feeling this way? Right? Um... There, there's there's no loss, there's no saber-toothed tiger, there's no weight on the shoulders. Um, and this is why it's so interesting to just, like, accept what is in the present moment. When, when, you, when you accept what is, when you accept those emotions, when it doesn't matter what it is that you're feeling. When you accept it, very incredible things happen. Life just turns so light, 
if 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 that's if that makes sense it it, it does like it, it it um it was heavy before but the heaviness was also there because you were trying to resist you were trying to push out but then once you just surrender and allow whatever is to be there and not try to push it out you're like liberated all of a sudden and then there's all of this space to create the space to be aware the space to you know, focus on what's important and everything. Um, yeah, it needs to be made understood that any pursuit to push an emotion out, especially if it's an uncomfortable emotion, will not make the situation better. It will, in fact, make the situation worse. Um, what is resisted persists. That's just the way that it is. Um, so, yeah, like, I'm, I'm just, like, looking at my own journey right now, and I'm, like, recognizing that, like... There have been so many times where I have felt general discontentment, but for like, I, I don't want to completely say that it would be no reason because I feel like there usually is a reason for whatever it is that a person's feeling. However, that doesn't mean that what it is that we're used to will you, uh, that, yeah, that doesn't mean that um, it's not the case that whatever it is that we're used to will use us because it's, it's, it's not. There are very often times that whatever we're feeling was recycled from yesterday or, you know, a week ago or a month ago or a year ago or years ago. Um, just understanding the source is key. That's, that's how it works.